Hello and welcome to another lesson. This one's going to be covering how to play back crescendo and diminuendo. And there are actually several ways of doing this. In fact, as far as I'm aware, there's at least four, maybe five different ways of doing this. But I'm just going to be showing you two of the best ways. As you probably already know, if we simply add a crescendo or diminuendo to our score, Sibelius will in fact play this crescendo or diminuendo, but the change in dynamics is a little bit more subtle, and you don't have a lot of control over it. If we want full control over these sorts of dynamics, the first thing we're going to have to do is to go to the Play tab and make sure that Live Playback is turned on. We then select our Musical Passage, and then open the Inspector window. And under the playback options, we want to click the Live Velocity checkbox. And this will give us control over the velocity of each note. So you can see that this passage is now set to a velocity of 80, which I guess is the equivalent of a mezzo forte or a forte. And if I then go back to the Play tab in the ribbon up the top and click on the Velocities button, I can then view these individual velocities in the score. And I can also change them in the score. So I could, for example, make this note a lot softer, and this one a lot louder. So I can now control the exact velocity of every single note in my score. And if I want to change the velocity of more than one note at a time, I select the notes or the passage that I want, and then when I change the velocity, you'll see that it changes for all of the notes that I've selected. And after making these changes, if I don't want to see the velocity levels in my score anymore, I just click the Velocities button to hide them all. But they are, of course, all still there. Now, if I want to turn these customized velocities off completely, I'm going to have to do that in the Inspection window by unticking the Live Velocity checkbox again. But what about if I want to create a crescendo or diminuendo? I could, of course, build a crescendo by hand by going through and clicking on each tone's velocity level, but that's going to take a while, and the best way is to in fact use the Transform button in our Ribbon menu. And here we can change the velocity of our entire passage, or we can make it all louder, or softer. But we can also create a crescendo or diminuendo. I can set the velocity of the first note, and the velocity of the second note. And when I hit OK, Sibelius then creates this crescendo for me. So this feature is very useful for long passages of music, but what about for individual notes or very short passages? And I believe that the best way to create a nice smooth crescendo or diminuendo is via hairpins. So if I add a crescendo hairpin to my score, as I normally would, but then select it and open the Inspector window, you'll see that under the playback, the hairpin setting is currently set to Auto, which is the default. But if I change this to one of the other options, I can then manually control the percentage of dynamic change that I want. So you can see that it's currently set to 10%, which is way too low for me. So I'm going to change it to 127%, which is the maximum. And this will give me a nice strong crescendo. And what's really fantastic is that I can stretch or shrink this crescendo as much as I want, just simply based on how long the hairpin is. So I could, for example, stretch it over multiple, multiple bars, or I could shorten the hairpin and just have that crescendo apply to just one sustained note. Now, just a quick disclaimer. This sometimes doesn't seem to work well with MIDI playback, particularly for sustained notes, but it definitely works with the Sibelius sounds that come with the program. Now, if you want to create a crescendo or diminuendo for a sustained note with MIDI, it is possible to use MIDI controllers, but to be honest, it's cumbersome and it's not really worthwhile, so I personally wouldn't bother with it. But if you are interested, there's a nice little plugin in the Play tab called Crash Dim Playback, and using that plugin will insert MIDI controllers for you. So that's it for this lesson, and I'll catch you in the next one.